are you doing? Welcome back. If you're new around here, then hey, how's it going? My name's Jane Sarche and I write recipes for a living. This is Myrtle, the Volkswagen T4, my little camper van, and it's together we bring you guys awesome one pot camping recipes. Now, apologies in advance. I've been snowed under with commissions and deadlines and stuff the past week or two, so very little planning has gone into today's video. I'm kind of winging it. I do apologize. And also, I have a load of jobs to do in my local town. So I'm going to take you along with me and I'm hopeful that I'm going to get away with the lack of planning because my local town is so damn beautiful. Oh my god, there's cars everywhere. Shush! So my local town is called Lou in Cornwall. Um, actually, let me get out the trusty map and I shall show you exactly where we are. That's not the right map. I knew that. By the way, this is the map I always refer to. It's a freebie that you get in visitor attractions when you come down here, so it doesn't have masses of information on, but it's enough to show you guys where I am. Right, come here. And today we are here. Now also, next door to Lou, we've got Polpero, which I don't have time to show you today, but I will definitely share a tour of Polpero with you soon. Now, one of the little jobs I've got to do today is send a local newspaper to a friend of mine who lives in Cambridge. He was part of our local festival photography team and one of his pictures got published in our local paper. I don't know if he's seen it or not. He probably has, to be fair. But just in case he hasn't, I thought, oh, I'll send him the paper because that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it, to see your own picture in a paper? So I messaged him yesterday to find out his address and found out that he's actually in surgery today. So, Richard, if you're watching this, Glad it went well, mate. Glad the surgeon's hand was steady. That's always good. And today's little tour of Lou is specifically for you, Richard, because I know you love this town. I hope you enjoy having a little wander, live vicariously through this video, and um, hopefully we'll catch up with you guys soon. <coughs> Coffee done, let's go. Here's Myrtle looking nice and clean and shiny. I took her through a car wash the other day, and I just want to show you the view. What do you reckon? That's Lou Island. I'm actually parked at Hannaford, so if you come to Lou, it's worth knowing this is a massive long road and you can park both sides of the road for free. You can't do an overnight camp, unfortunately. The, uh, if you see over the back, this is like where all the posh houses are um, and it's very frowned upon to camp here overnight. But I guess if you were full on stealth mode, you might be able to get away with it, but certainly not in a camper like mine. Right, let's go into town. Wow, this is a proper spring day. This is beautiful. This is an obituary to Nelson, the one-eyed seal, who lived in our harbour for years and whenever a fishing boat would come in or when the ferries would cross over, people would feed him fish and he was just so friendly, he was really lovely. And I wanted to show you him and also over the river is my favourite cafe which sadly won't be open right now. It's over there, it's called The Lookout. They do fabulous dairy-free cakes and drinks and their menu is really good. If you're in Lou, definitely go and check it out. It's a tiny little place, but really, really lovely. What a coincidence to see the Doom Bar truck because that is being used in today's recipe. Thank you. 
So this is the Banjo Pier. This is where you get a really great view of the town. It's so lovely. That felt great. Hope you enjoyed that little tour. So I've got all the stuff here to make today's recipe. However, I realize I've left the one key piece of technology that I need to make this video at home. And though it's not the camera, it's the blowtorch. All will be revealed shortly. However, sadly, I am gonna to have to drive home and make the recipe there because I can't actually do it here like I planned to. It was very early when I left this morning and um, the brain wasn't quite engaged, I think, so back home. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Lou. I'm now back home and yes, I did find my blowtorch. Every camper van needs his own blowtorch, right? So today we are doing Welsh rabbit and this is thanks to Mary Ames Mitchell. Mary, thank you so much for the recipe request. I figured it was perfect for the whole month of comfort food. So Welsh rabbit, for those that don't know, it's a very fancy cheese on toast. It's got a little splash of beer in and obviously I'm using a Cornish beer, not a Welsh beer, sorry Wales. And it has a little dab of English mustard and a little splash of obviously Worcester sauce. And that all gets kind of melted in a pan, poured over and normally it's popped under a grill. And I couldn't get my head around how to do this because I don't have a grill. But then Johnny came up with the very clever idea of using one of these. This recipe comes with a warning. I have not pre-tested it. This could all go horribly wrong. So I have my toast on. I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'm going to move my griddle pan out of the way. So I'm going to put my little pan on and I would recommend using non-stick pan for this because it's going to be an ooey gooey cheesy mess. So I'm going to add a little dab of English mustard powder, a little splash of beer, a little splash of Worcester sauce and a little dab of butter. So just heat that all together until the butter has melted into the sauce. It starts to smell, it starts off smelling really savoury and then it becomes like a caramel smell. It's delicious. Okay, that's good. I'm going to turn that heat down now. Now I'm going to add in the cheese and we want to melt this. We don't want to boil it. We don't want to incinerate the crap out of it. We just want to very gently melt that down into that sauce. If it looks like it's going too quickly or burning, then just turn that heat down more. Just take it nice and easy. Stodgy, cheesy goodness. Awesome. That's all melted. That's now a really smooth cheesy creamy sauce. I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes just to come down and cool a little bit. You don't want it to go cold because it's going to solidify. Okay all that's left to do now is spread this on the toast. So I'm actually going to bring this back over here. There's a fair chance this could get a bit messy. So oik it on top of your piece of toast. And now I need to pluck up the courage to light this thing. I get really scared about gas. Oh my god. Wish me luck, I'm going in. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> I'm going to set my curtains on fire in a minute. It's freaking awesome. Oh my God. Now that, my friends, is cooking. That was wicked. You have to make this recipe just because that is so fun. Um, perhaps don't do it inside your van though because right now we're in a smog and it's probably a massive health hazard. 
I'm just opening the emergency exits. Well, we do officially have, oh Jesus, that looks incredible. We do officially have golden bubbly cheese on top. So I think I have officially nailed the whole Welsh rabbit minus the grill. Johnny, thank you for your suggestion of getting a flamethrower. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Now I need to take some photos of this before I eat it because once I start with that, I ain't stopping. I can assure you of that. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please whack the thumbs up if you did. Richard, if you're watching this, then please feel better soon. I hope you have a really speedy recovery and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Everybody else, please don't forget to leave your recommendations in the comments for what you'd like to see cooked in March. And the theme that you chose was make ahead camping meals. So do give me some ideas of what you'd like to see in the comments. And that's it. I need to go and eat this because it's looking damn fine. I'm going to catch up with you all really, really soon. Have a fabulous week and an awesome weekend. And until next week, happy camping.